guys, you thought the episode was finished, didn't you? <laughs> After viewing the footage, there wasn't too much <laughs> footage at all. So I thought we'd bought a catch and cook on the end. So we're cooking up a recipe. I uh, went to Google. First thing I Googled was moqueca, which is a Brazilian fish stew. Now I don't claim to be any kind of chef or cook or uh, to tell you the truth, the master chef of the house is my wife, but I'm king of the barbecue, so I'm going to give it a crack on the barbecue, just on the single burner. I'm going to use my fry pan and a wok, and uh, <laughs> hopefully it all turns out. So, uh, just got the pan just boiled up, well, using butter. Uh, that uh, the fish that we caught, the second one, uh, 53 centimetre coral trout, he has some nice thick fillets, so that's what I needed for this uh, particular one. So I've cut it up into nice uh, cube sized pieces and we're going to about three quarter cook that on the fry pan so on it goes the pan's not hot enough beautiful that's your warm up don't worry uh, the fish is three quarters cooked so we're just cooking that just just simmering away we're just cooking it slowly we don't want it completely cooked as you're going to add it to the, the dish at the end so uh quick look at the ingredients i'll just let that cook for a little bit longer but we are going to be using the wok and the ingredients are uh, onion that'll be going in first with a bit of olive oil and then we're going to add tomatoes we're going to add our spices some salt some garlic, uh, coconut milk, puree, and I've put another extra in. It's not part of the traditional dish, but I'm going to put in a little bit of potato. And we're going to finish it off with some lime, chili, and coriander. So it's going to be hectic. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't bugger it up. And the final ingredient you need, you've got to have a beer. Because when you're doing a barbecue, you've got to have a beer. <laughs> so, uh, We'll take the fish off and we'll get this happening. So we'll leave the fish to rest. We've still got some flame there. That'll take a little while to heat up. Next ingredient, first ingredient is the oil. Now Brazilian fish stew, they use palm oil, but palm oil we can't get and it's a bit controversial. So we're just going to the old olive oil. Uh, put too much just I don't know we'll add more if we need it <laughs> but that might do for now we'll let that pan heat up we'll get the onion happening and hopefully all goes well okay uh, oils I don't know might be ready we'll just drop one little bit of onion in and it's not ready take two <laughs> hopefully it'll sizzle uh, a little bit I think we'll just add it. So in it goes. It's going to cool the pan down, but oh no, we got some sizzle. Get that little stir. Stay there. Add a bit of salt. Now normally in this recipe you would use four cloves of garlic. We've already got garlic in the cupboard but we don't so I'm using a bit of this. <laughs> Get it is. Just saute it for a little while. It's been cooking away for about, I don't know, five or so minutes. It's starting to sort of just, just cook. We don't want to burn, yeah, we don't want to burn it, which is probably like five or to do. And then we add the tomato, so I've chopped them up. Uh, good to go. So they're all added. And now we're going to add some spices. 
So, for a Pika, two tablespoons. Teaspoons. One. Three. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> Two. <laughs> One teaspoon of cumin. That one. Oh, it's like smelled already. And the last spice. Cayenne pepper. Which is half a tablespoon uh, a teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> the director's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And we're just going to saute that for about five minutes. The, uh, little, my little saute with all the spices, it smells amazing. You can see the colour has just changed everything there. It's gone for a you know, nice reddish colour. Uh, the original ingredient says to put uh, capsicum in sort of towards the end of the meal, but I want to sort of pre cook by it, so I'm going to add mine in now. That way you can soak up all those spices and just try and cook it a little bit. And we'll give that another four or five minutes and then we're going to put coconut milk in. It's been uh, simmering away for about five minutes while sauteing and the next step in the process is coconut milk. I've just put the home brand one, 400 ml. And we're just going to add that in now. It's just going to add another element of the fish. And we're going to simmer this for about another five minutes. So I'm sorry about cutting and going back and forth, but you don't want to see just this just stirring me for five five minutes. So uh, we'll let that heat up, and then once that warms up, I'm going to add another ingredient, which is not really in the recipe, but I thought it'd be good. I'm just going to put a little bit of potato in there, that I've finely diced up, and I've just microwaved it for a few minutes just to pre-cook it. We'll add that in when the coconut uh, milk starts to warm up. We'll add that in and there's just a couple more ingredients and we'll add the fish and we'll be done and hopefully this works really well. It's swimming away for about five minutes. There's been a few little muck ups in the kitchen with the rice and stuff not being ready but <laughs> I'll be mastered it. So uh, just pan over there, you can see it's just been simmering away. Now we add the tomato puree, one cup. And we're going to give that a bit of a stir. And look at it change colour again. And we're going to let that simmer away for a bit longer. But this is where we're going to add the fish. So fish goes in now. I purposely cooked this fish not quite all the way because we're going to finish cooking it off. The, um, the way the Brazilians do it is they don't cook the fish at all. They put that in in and they just basically boil it in the juices uh, but they also add uh, prawns so prawns is in the original dish so we let that just go there now you can add uh, shallots uh, chili uh, jalapenos uh, spring onions I've got some chilies here now these are my homegrown chilies and these things are rocket fuel so I'm only putting two in because uh, it hurts coming out <laughs> so, so I'm just going to chop them up just a, just a little bit going to leave the seeds and all in but if you want to add more go for it I mean like burn your ass off if you want <laughs> it's, like, it's up to you <laughs> so in they go and I've got some what's that herb? coriander coriander the dreaded herb everyone hates, but coriander is part of the dish, so it's going in. Another quick little stir, and then we add half a lime. So 
half of one goes in. We give that another few minutes. Then we'll let that do some rice and we'll be good. I'll just maybe just pick it up a little bit, get it simmering. And just that last few minutes we'll cook the fish. So, yeah, I think I'm pretty impressed so far. The taste test will be the big thing, but it smells great. Like, it smells, it smells awesome. So the next bit will be on the plate and we'll see how we go. <laughs> Hello, dinner is served. It looks good. Looks, it looks all right. <laughs> Let's see how we go. Oh, look who's made a guest appearance. <laughs> what are you after? You want some dinner too, mate, do you? Well, it smells amazing. Let's hope it tastes amazing. Brazilian fish stew or cueca. Let's see how it tastes. A little bit of everything. It's good. The sauce has got Oh, and so many different flavours, like, there's a lot going in this dish, there's that, mmm. You hit one spice, and you hit another spice, and then you hit something else. It's just, um, I don't know how to describe it. So we got a piece of fish here. Oh, I'll tell you what, if you've never tried this dish, do it, have a crack at it. Uh, maybe in the comments we'll put the recipe up for you, you can follow it. Uh, but please, yeah, give it a go. Like, this is... This is really good. And because I've cooked it, I can, I can recognise all the flavours. Whereas um, if someone else cooked, for me, cooked it for me, we're going, oh, I sort of wouldn't know. So, uh, I'll tell you what, it's, it's all there. This is like really good. The Brazilians, they know how to do it. What do you reckon, Bob? Good? Tell you what, guys. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think I'll probably do a catch cook every time because uh, this is broadening my horizon and this is like. Open my, opened up a new world for me as far as uh, the taste buds and uh, the flavours and uh, we've gone to Brazil this time, maybe we can go another country, we we'll go to Spain next time, I'll, we'll try something different every time but this is truly good and I'm the worst cook out <laughs> and I think I've done very well. So thanks for watching guys, uh, subscribe if you'd like. Uh, thanks for watching, give us a thumbs up and I'll keep bringing more fishing shows and catching cooks and we're going to go camping on deserted islands and we're going to do all kinds of crazy stuff so uh, stay tuned, I'll see you in the next episode, take care, love you all, thank you, bye.